What is a final walkthrough and what the heck do you do when you're doing one? We'll talk about that coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? One of the last things that you do in a real estate transaction is a final walkthrough. And the important thing to understand here is, although that's pretty customary across all real estate transactions, what exactly happens and what the legal ramifications are, the contractual ramifications are, can vary from state to state based on your contract. So if you're buying real estate here in Hawaii, you want to understand exactly what a final walkthrough is and what the implications are when you're doing one and what your options are when you're doing one. So primarily it's covered in paragraph J3 of your contract if you want to read it word for word and see what it says. But basically what the final walkthrough does and the, re the purpose it serves is that you are verifying the condition of the property that it is the same as it was when you did your inspection of the property and if there were any repairs that were negotiated or agreed upon that those repairs were completed. So you're basically making sure that the, con the, the home's condition is what you expect it to, to be based on the inspection or the repairs that were requested and agreed upon. The important thing to understand here is that it is not a time when you can change your mind and cancel. You are only verifying the condition of the house. You can check all the appliances, make sure that they all work, make sure that if there was any inventory negotiated and there was supposed to be some furniture left behind, that that is all there as agreed upon. And you're just checking the overall condition of the home. Windows aren't broken, um, you know, things aren't missing that should have been there. And so this is not a time when you can decide, I no longer like the house and I wanna cancel, or I don't like the paint color on the interior, I wanna cancel. You cannot cancel based on this paragraph it is simply to verify condition and so you have to kind of understand that as you go through that process that you cannot wait to the last minute and then change your mind because j3 references the next paragraph in the contract j4 which is the remedy for if something is not repaired or if something is broken that should have been operational you have a the ability to either withhold funds or delay closing to get those things repaired per paragraph J4. So you can address those issues and make sure they are, they are remedied, but it is not a point in the contract where you can cancel. There are very clear places in the contract where cancellation is an option and they reference paragraph O in the contract, which tells you how to go about doing it. But J3, the final walkthrough is not one of them. And in most cases, when a J3 final walkthrough happens, you are at the final stages of your contract and you have already got final loan approval, you're usually a few days, maybe four or five days before closing. At that point, all the rest of the contingencies have been released and uh, the deal is pretty much sealed. And so you cannot really change your mind and not put your earnest money at risk or have some potential legal ramifications going forward if you just decide to cancel based on the final walkthrough. So just wanted to clarify that and make sure that is understood very clearly so you don't run into a situation where your expectation is different from what the contract says. So as always, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below or reach out to me at dylan at bybeallen.com. And if you want to talk about your plans or have any questions, you can always book a meeting at the calendar link below. I'll see you guys next week. Aloha.